Hello everyone, my name is Pippin Williamson, and today we're looking at a plugin called FacetWP. This is a plugin written by Matt Gibbs that allows you to very quickly create faceted search forms on your WordPress site. Let's say, for example, that you are listing cars, different car types of cars, everything from models to brands uh, to years, etc. And let's say that you want to provide a way for your site users to filter those quickly. So you want to filter by year, or you want to filter by make, model, etc. And you want them to be able to do that by simply clicking checkboxes or choosing from drop downs in your sidebar. That's what FacetWP does, and it works really, really well. Any type of faceted search that you need to build, that's what this is designed for and will work really well for you. It's available from facetwp.com and it's really slick. It's really pretty simple to use. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a quick live demo that they have set up, that Matt set up for you, that really demonstrates the power. And then I'm gonna jump in quickly and just show you how I, I really quickly in five minutes or less set it up on my demo site just to see how it works. So for example, to extend on the car example, we have this list here of all of these different cars. And you can see, we can scroll down and we can see this list. But now we wanna filter them. We see there's 11 pages with 68 different cars, but maybe we wanna see if there's a specific kind of car in there. So we're only interested in Aston Martins. So we click Aston Martin, and sure enough, here's all four results from those 68 of Aston that are Aston Martins. Now let's say, you know what? Of the Aston Martins, I only want one that's a coupe. So we click coupe, and now it's filtered those Aston Martin results down to just the coupe styles. And you can see there's just the two of them. Now let's say, you know what? Maybe my price range that I'm looking for is between 200 and 250. Well, let's see if there's anything in those results. Oh, nope, there's nothing in there. So maybe if we increase our results a little bit. Okay, sure enough. Now we see some cars that are in the range of 200 to 250,000 for the Aston Martins. That's really cool. Okay, you know what? We're gonna start completely over and we're gonna search for a different car. Aston Martins are really pricey and let's just, that's, that's not on our budget. Let's say we want something that's a little more uh, closer to affordable, maybe, maybe a Ford. So let's go in here and let's go in. We see there's 21 Fords, we choose that. And now we can choose the type that we want. Well, maybe we decide we wanna go for a truck. So we choose a truck and now we see, okay, here's the four different trucks that they have on here. You know what, I changed my mind. I don't want a truck, I want an SUV. Okay, here's all of the SUVs that we have on here. And we can see the different body styles. Well, there's only one body style, so there's not much to choose from there. And now let's say our maximum price is 30,000. So we'll take this down to about 30, and let's see if there's any results. There we go, there's a couple of them at 30,000. Awesome. Okay, you know what? I only want all wheel drive. Fantastic. You know, maybe there were 10 results here as opposed to two. Let's go ahead and change the way that it's sorted. Let's look at the lowest price first. And here we see the low to high prices. This is the kind of thing that FacetWP allows you to set up. And it's really cool, extremely powerful. Uh, another example, obviously you can set up a car listing site like this. You could set up a tutorial site. Let's say that you're sorting by difficulty or sorting by category, et cetera. Uh, I actually used FacetWP along with some, some co-developers on a website called cgcookie.com not too long ago to actually sort course lists by difficulty, by category, by software, etc. So this is what FacetWP allows you to do. Now let's take a look at a really quick demo of how it works on the back end. So for this demo, I didn't have time to go set up a really elaborate example like Matt's done on, a, on his site. So what I've done is I simply set up a page. This is my home page of my local development site. And I have a list of blog posts and I want to filter them by categories. So here's my options, category one, category two, and uncategorized. And you can see that as I choose my options, the posts that match those results automatically get filtered in or out. Now I could add any other option in here I want. I could sort by a meta key, I could sort by tags, I could show only posts that are in this category and also this category, et cetera. There's a lot of different things that you can do. Now let's look at how I created this. Let's go to the dashboard and we'll go to settings, facet WP. And here we have three tabs. We have facets, templates, and settings. So facets are the types of search. 
So for example, if we go back here to the home page, this is a facet. I created a facet based upon categories. The templates are what define the way the results are shown. So I created a template that said, I want the title of the post shown here in an H3 tag, and then I want the excerpt of the post shown here. And so you can modify both of those very easily. So for each result, you'll create a facet and you'll create a template that shows the results. So to create the category facet, all I have to do is, by the way, the default one is populated with categories. So this is pretty much set up for you the moment you install the plugin. But so I can give it a label. I can then choose how do I want this to be displayed? Check boxes, drop down, etc. Let's go and change it to a drop down. And now go back over here. And now you see we have a drop down of categories. And so I can choose the results from any of these options and set, instead of having a checkbox list. I can choose the data source. In this case, our data source is our standard post category that we see over here. But let's say I want it to be tags. Well, I don't have any tags at the moment, but let's add some in real quick. Let's say tag one and tag two. And now let's go ahead and categorize or tag these with those tags. Tag one, and now I'll put this one in tag one and tag two. Okay, so now let's go here and let's change this to say tags and set. Actually, instead of that, let me create a second facet so that we can filter both by categories and by tags. So to do that, I'm gonna click add facet. I'm gonna call it tags. I'm gonna say, I want this to be a checkbox. Our, our data source is our tags and that'll do fine right there. Save changes, go over here, oops. And now I need to actually show this. So I have a text widget set up where I have the short code and I'm going to say facet WP, facet equals tags. Now we'll go back to our home page. And whoops, we want this to be checkboxes. And now you can see both of our options. We have categories and we have tags. So if we look at category one, okay, great. I like those. I, that's what I want to filter by. And now let's say I also want to filter by tag two. And now I can choose that. And now you can see that I'm only showing results that are in both of those. And so I very quickly just set that up by creating the facets. And then I dropped it into a text widget with the short code. I'm not going to worry about showing you how to use the short codes or what they are. You can take a look at the documentation. It's pretty simple. Matt's done a great job on writing some extensive documentation that walks you through how to set this up. But what's really cool is that for the facets is you can change the data source to be anything you want. So it could be from a post type. It could be from a specific field in a post type. For example, you could set up a facet that says, show me posts that were written between this date and this date. So you could filter them by post date or show me the, la the ones that are most recently modified or you could filter them by author or any taxonomies or any custom fields. You can see here it's detected all of the different custom fields that we have on, in the database. You can choose how it's sorted. You can choose whether how it's gonna filter the results. So for example, you can say, okay, when I select these options, I only wanna show the, the results that are in all selected options. Or you can choose what's called widen the result set where it says, I'm going to take all of these and add in anything that matches. Let's take a look at the templates. The templates allow us to define the output. So for example, here we have very, a very simple output where we have the title and the description. But let's say that we want to add a read more link down here at the bottom. Well, that's nice and simple. Note, you do have to be comfortable writing a little bit of PHP and a little bit of HTML to use this, but there's also very, there are great guides and it's not complex stuff. So this is not something that should scare you away. This is actually really, really powerful. But let's say I want a view more link. Let's just say P, we'll give it a class of more maybe, and then we'll set up a link. And we're just gonna use a standard WordPress template tag called the permalink. And there we go. And so now if we go back over here, 
you see we now have a read more link underneath each post that links to that post. Let's say that I want to change the, the HTML of the title. Well, here I currently have it as an H3. Maybe I want it as an H4. Now it's an H4 and it's much smaller. If you want, you could very easily show the featured image here if there was one. You could modify this to show the, the entire content or no excerpt at all. You could show a list of categories. Anything that you can show in a standard WordPress loop, you can show in these template files. And you can create as many different templates as you, as you want. So this is a very simple one, but let's say I wanted a new one that was designed specifically for showing gallery images. Maybe I want to look at my media post type and pull in images. So I'm going to set up my HTML to output the image itself. I could very easily do that. I would simply create a template. Maybe I would call it images. I would set up the query arguments here that will that will pull in the, the attachments post type. And then I'll, I'll set up the HTML and the PHP to display the code here. And that's it. It's really simple to use and to set up, but it is extremely powerful. I mean, I think this example is superb what Matt's done with it because it really showcases what you can do in terms of the options that you can set up and ha just how you can filter this. I mean, very quickly, if this was a, a car dealership or a car review site or anything like that, we could very easily s filter down and find the results that we want. Let's see what kind of Subarus they have in here. Take a look at the car styles, and here are the different options. Let's take a look only at the sedans, and here they are. Very quick, very simple. And that's what FacetWP allows you to do. The plugin is extremely reasonably priced at just $29. Uh, he does have a guaranteed 14 day money back. So if you buy it, you don't like it, you can't get it to work, he's more than happy to to refund you, but he's also extremely helpful. You reach out to Matt and he'll help you with any issues that you have. So if you need to create a faceted search of any kind, I highly recommend this.